हेलो वन वेलकम टू लारा वन नाइन सीरीज इन विच वी रिकॉर्डिंग दी मल्टी वेंडर ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट सो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड दी हंड्रेड वीडियोस ऑफ दी लारा वन नाइन सीरीज आवर मेन फोकस इन दिस हंड्रेड वीडियोस इज ऑन दी वेंडर्स मॉड्यूल ओके फ्रॉम पार्ट फिफ्टी वी हैव स्टार्टेड वर्किंग ऑन दी वेंडर्स मॉड्यूल एंड वी एबल टू अचीव दिस थिंग्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू दी ब्रीफ ओवरव्यू फ्रॉम पार्ट वन टू हंड्रेड वीडियोस इनफैक्ट आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू दी ब्रीफ ओवरव्यू ऑफ दी पार्ट फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड वीडियोस ओके सो दैट यू विल कम टू नो दैट व्हाट वी हैव डन सो फार इन दिस हंड्रेड वीडियोस एंड व्हाट यू नीड टू डू इफ यू वांट टू डाउनलोड दिस सोर्स कोड ओके सो सी our main focus in these videos is uh, we have uh, updated the admin panel with vendor features we have done many new vendor features in these videos that we have done up till part 100 uh, that includes the complete admin panel for multi vendor e-commerce website covering admin and vendor features okay so next thing that we have done is the vendor registration process okay so we have done the complete vendor registration process means vendor is going to register from the front end uh, his Uh, he is going to uh, confirm his account then he will uh, fill his complete information in the admin panel and after filling the information the admin is going to approve his account and after approving his account the vendor can able to add the products into the website okay so finally uh, he can able to add products and his products can be uh, purchased by the users okay so this complete vendor module we have added in our laravel 9 e-commerce website multi e-commerce website in this part 100 videos in these 100 videos okay so after that we have also done vendor shops so every vendor is having his own shop where he is going to display his own products okay like the amazon do like the flipkart do okay so the vendor can able to create his vendor shop and can able to add the products Okay, he can able to add his own products in his shop. Okay, so that thing also we able to do. We have linked uh, like uh, he can able to add multiple products. Uh, he can uh, then uh, simply we will give their uh, vendor shop as well in the detail page of the products. Okay, so that the uh, user can able to view all the products of the vendor. so these things we have done in these 100 videos in this um, and uh, see from part 50 to 100 uh, we have worked on these things and uh, and so i i'm going to give you the overview as well okay so that uh, you will come to know uh, in detail uh, so i will open the admin panel as well okay so that you will have better idea that what we have done in these videos <coughs> so for the new users as well uh, they uh, will come to know that what we have done so far so this is the admin panel this is the admin panel and the super admin is logged in now and the super admin can assess the complete features of the website you can see super admin can able to uh, see all the vendors sub admins and uh, means all kind of information he can able to view he can able to view the vendor information as well you can see he can able to view the vendor information as well and he can able to approve the vendor account from here as well email will also go to the vendor account uh, once he will approve that vendor okay and he can able to add the sections categories uh, you can see he can able to add the brands products okay filters are, i have also we have also done uh, these filters dynamically uh, as we know that every product every every category is having uh, some specific filter so that thing we have also done okay so uh, see here so uh, once the vendor register the vendor can register from here here we are going to show the vendor login so vendor can register from here and once the vendor register he can uh, he is going to confirm his account and after he confirm his account he can able to login and we can see uh, one uh, one of the vendor we are going to login uh, from one of the vendor account uh okay so you can see the admins table will have the type where we are storing the vendor type super admin o and sub admin will also come up here so one of the account we are going to login uh, so that we will have the idea of the vendor module as well so here like john at the top admin.com and person can login okay so we are going to check uh, status 
and make sure he confirm his account okay though this process we will do from his email so now see john admin one two three four five six and see sign in okay so this is the vendor module you can see the vendor panel this is the vendor panel and here the vendor can able to update his information update his personal information business information bank details okay so all the information he can able to update and once the admin approve the vendor's account the vendor can able to add the products from here okay here you can see the vendor can able to add the products okay so one of the product i'm going to show you uh, so these are the sections okay these uh, this is the menu where we are displaying the sections where we are displaying the uh, the categories and subcategories as well you can see we can click on any of the any of the category and here we can assess all the products and we are going to check whether the product is added by the vendor uh, here if the product is added by the vendor we are going to display the vendor information if the product is not added by the vendor if the product is added by the man, uh, admin then we are not going to display any vendor information okay so one of the product we have added from the vendor maybe this one and uh, we are going to see which product we have added from the vendor okay uh, so this is the product that is added by the vendor here you can see this product is sold by stack developers so once the user will click on this stack developers then he can able to see the complete vendor shop so stack developers shop uh, added by the vendor okay this uh, name is selected by the vendor itself okay so if we will click on this one uh, you can see separate page will open and in that all the products will come like the vendor is only having one product right now uh, but once the vendor will add the more products he can able to see uh, we can able to see the more products of the vendor in the same page okay so this uh, uh, shop name we can see uh, which vendor is added this shop name uh, here you can see the stack developer shop name uh, vendor business details and this shop is added by the john uh, okay shop name here we can see this uh, shop is added by the vendor id is 9 okay we are going to check the 9 vendor id okay so here we are going to see uh, the admin admin we are going to see this one uh, with the 9 here this is the email of this vendor test 2425 okay so we are going to log out and uh, going to uh, check with that vendor okay uh, so we are going to open in separate window it is creating some issue i think browser is creating some issue uh, so here we are going to open uh, with that user uh, okay so one two three four five six okay so we have open uh, so this one is also is fine okay so uh, now uh, here we can see uh, the vendor details uh, the user fill the vendor details here okay and user also added the product here uh, that we have seen in front end so this is the product that is approved by the admin and uh, it is added by the vendor you can see uh, uh, it is added by the vendor and this is the product that we can see and also uh, its attributes added by the uh, added see not added but we can add the attributes vendor can add the attributes as well from here and vendor can also add the images from here okay of this product so uh, so here i have shown you that uh, uh, this is the vendor shop where the vendor products will come so we have done up till here and also we have done uh, see once uh, the vendor add the attributes and uh, and the images and then uh, see uh, the user can able to add the product in card uh, okay you can see the product has been added in card and the user can able to see the product in card you can see the product has been added in card user card okay so in this way uh, we can able to add as many products as uh, the user wants okay user can able to add more products in card okay so this is the thing up till here we have done uh, see vendor can able to add the products from the panel and user can able to add this product in his car 
okay and the vendor shop also that the vendor can able to make okay so all the things we have done uh, in these 100 videos so far and if you want the source code of these 100 videos then i'm going to explain you the step that how you can get these 100 videos uh, by paying this small amount okay so you can become the member to get the laravel websites and these 100 uh, videos uh, that we have done so far in the multi vendor e-commerce website in laravel 9 uh, those 100 videos you can get uh, once you become the premium member of the channel okay uh, so uh, here are the steps that is required uh, okay so see you can open the channel youtube.com stack developers or i can also open it here okay so you can simply join uh, from here okay from the join link okay you can join as a premium member uh, to get the multi vendor e-commerce website code up till part 100 okay uh, of laravel 9 series and you can also get the advanced e-commerce website code uh, that we have started in laravel 6 and then upgraded to laravel 7 and then to laravel 8 okay this complete advanced e-commerce website code uh, that you can get uh, once you become the premium member so just for a month you can become the premium member and get uh, these codes and also you can see you can also get all the uh, available code that uh, we used to give for the basic members as well uh, okay uh, like the basic e-commerce website code dating website code all this code you will also get in premium membership so you will get the basic website code basic, basic e-commerce website code dating uh, website code you will get the advanced e-commerce website code you will get the multi vendor e-commerce website code okay so uh, so so many things you are going to get along with the many other benefits okay so you can join from here so once you will join i will send you the credentials uh, and once you will get the credentials you can log in to this website sidemakers.in website okay from here you can download all these source code okay so you can simply click on download here you can see all the available source codes are, uh, are given here okay so you can able to download from here you just require to click on login to download and here you are just required to fill the uh, information login and password okay that i have uh, i will provide you email you okay so uh, once you will get then you are going to login and then you can able to uh, download uh, see any source code you can see the click here to download assess okay so you can download uh, the like multi vendor e commerce website, uh, this one, sorry, this one multi vendor e commerce website in Laravel 9 part 1 200. This 100 videos you can easily download here. You can see it is downloading at my end, and once it has been downloaded, then you can simply unzip the folder and uh, just keep that in your XAMPP folder, okay? Like this is the XAMPP folder, like my XAMPP folder it is. So I'm going to keep this one in my xam folder so one it has been downloaded i am going to keep this folder in my xam folder see this one is downloaded now okay so i am going to keep this one here okay so uh, once i have got it see the database also i am going to import this database so simple steps uh, like uh, uh, create some new database here you can create new database here database is you simply create the new database here like uh, i will create like this one ecom 9 up till 100 so i will make the database like this so just you require to import okay so you are required to just import from uh, this one uh, that we have just downloaded like here see this one ecom 9 so okay so just you require to import this database and after that this e database we are going to keep 
in our see i am going to close this one and we'll uh, see i'm going to open here this one ecom 9 this we have downloaded and in its env file we are going to update this new database okay once we have done this one then we will then we can able to run it okay so we are going to check this one that we able to run it or not php artisan serve and here we are going to check that we able to run it or not okay so see it has been done now we are going to try to run it that we get in these 100 videos and see it is running fine so this is the code that we have downloaded from the website after getting the credentials and now we can able to run the website you can see okay so everything will work fine you can see whatever we have done so far you will able to get it in your system offline okay so here you can see so it will be easier to for you to understand the code okay side by side you can understand the code and follow this series so it will be really easy for you okay you can see we have reached up till card page and vendor access and everything okay you will get you will get the admin panel as well that you can open uh, simply slash admin and sorry slash admin slash login and you can open uh, the username and password is admin admin.com <coughs> password is one two three four five six okay so sign in just you require to sign in and you can see that you can able to log in into the admin panel okay and you have full access you can check uh, everything is working fine okay so uh, you can get this uh, code up till part 100 once you will become the premium member okay so uh, that's all for now uh, so we will continue working on the series and we'll uh, we'll do the 101 video in next few uh, days okay so we'll start uh, from 101 now Okay, so please stay tuned for that. That's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye.